I like to call this kind of a quick sauce because it doesn't cook for very long, maybe half an hour. I am here today with my beautiful <laughs> niece Claudia, who has come over to cook with Auntie, hang hey with Auntie, drink wine with Auntie. Yes, always. <laughs> Later, we're going to make gnocchi, mm -hmm. which is another reason she came over. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> This is basic light tomato sauce. In Italy, we would call this sugo. Right. Um, a gnocchi um, or a light pasta dish. This is what you want. You don't want anything too heavy handed. <laughs> Let's show them how to make the sauce and then yes. get on to the gnocchi. Yeah? Yes. Cool. Okay. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to put olive oil in my pan that's on the stove here and I'm going to turn my flame down because I don't want it to burn. You don't want your oil to really smoke too much. What I have is chopped garlic here and you can put as much or as little as you like. Don't be afraid of the garlic, whatever you do. What garlic is this, would you say? This is about, oh gosh, this is about six or seven cloves of garlic okay. um, for a good sized batch of sauce. So um, you see how it's quickly heating up and getting very fragrant. This is the part that you don't want to walk away from. You got to really watch your garlic, right, Claudia? Yes. What happens if you burn the garlic? You have to start over. You have to start over. <laughs> Don't try to get by with burnt garlic because you will have yucky food. Um, so what I'm using for sauce in this um, is some San Marzano whole tomatoes. I'm using some um, uh, strained tomatoes or pureed tomatoes because mm -hmm. I want this to be mostly smooth. As soon as um, the garlic starts to turn just a little bit, um, not even golden, pale, 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 changing color and that's when you want to go and add see see how it's kind of that's it that's as far as you want it to go now i'm adding my tomatoes into the pot which will cool everything down and stop the garlic from continuing to cook and give it a good stir just to make that happen but you can see that's what you're going for with the garlic i like to use really good san marzano tomatoes um, either chopped like these came out of the can, as in a chopped up pulp. Um, I also use whole ones. Oh. Now these are crushed. Mm -hmm. And I also have a can of whole, as you can see, they're the big plum tomatoes. So um, what I do with that is basically just take... Um, where did it go? Potato smasher. Yeah, <laughs> potato smasher. And that's what I use to smush them up. See, it just takes a few seconds. Smash up the tomatoes. Like I said. A good, nice, hearty pinch of salt. Yes. We're going to go with some turns of black pepper. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think the biggest problem that people have when they're cooking is they're afraid of salt for some reason. Yeah. Now, of course, if you're on a salt-restricted diet, then you do what you need to do. Now, I just started with about a teaspoon's worth of salt, but you're going to taste this as you go. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. So, you know, give it a chance to kind of start cooking and heating through, and then taste. Always taste, taste, taste your food, you know? You don't ever need to put salt on the table in a shaker because if you've seasoned your food properly, um, there's no need for that. This is fresh basil from my garden, and it's been washed. And look at the size of those leaves. Aren't they beautiful? It smells so basil. good. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure if they made perfume out of basil, I would wear it. <laughs> I just tear the leaves. I like to put basil in when we first start the dish right. and then, and then the end. a little bit at the end because at the end you've got that bright fresh yeah. basil. There's this misconception that Italians cook everything with tons of oregano, which is not true. Yeah. Uh, so um, we even talk about oregano. <laughs> um, most important thing, use really good quality tomatoes, really good olive oil, 
fresh basil. You don't compromise, as you can see, there's only a few right. ingredients in it. Exactly. Let this cook for half hour, 45 minutes. Of course, then if you're from back east, people argue about whether it's sauce or gravy. Most important, sauce will stick to the bottom of your pan, which is another reason to use a really good heavy Dutch oven like this because it's less apt to happen. But you wanna turn your heat down and let it bubble. Um, we like to call this kind of a quick sauce because it doesn't cook for very long, maybe half an hour. Gravy is, I believe, what you put on Thanksgiving turkey. It doesn't matter, call it whatever you want, but cook for your family and have fun and invite somebody over, that's all, right? I like that. So, we are going to let this cook and we're gonna move on to some other things yeah. and we'll come back to it when it's done, yes? Cool, yes. yes.